but also real shit, like some of these country ass cities. Like I fuck with the country ass city. Like let's get a club, but I'm not I'm not going down there no more because I don't feel like dealing with petty ass police. Like police is so thirsty, riding through. Uh, when you come from Texas, going through some of these country ass Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, where police is thirsty as fuck. Just trying to find a nigga with some goddamn exotic. And you can't even smoke no good Zion peace. You feel me? So why the fuck am I even risking my freedom anymore going to some of these goddamn petty? I ain't going to say petty. Um, we're going through some of these petty at police cities. You feel me? I got more charges going to shows being legit as a rapper than when I was in the streets. You get what I'm saying? And now all my niggas got charges. It's always 10000 for a lawyer. 20000 for a lawyer. That's why I bought some land in the country so I could just be on my shit. I ain't got to go nowhere, you feel me? Like, I don't want no police interaction, you feel me? Because when they come down to it, when you get into it with 12, niggas ain't going to help you out. Niggas going to bow down. Niggas going to put their head down. Nigga, your partner, when you get into it with 12, nigga, 12 will be beating you to death. And your partner who with you, he'll put his head down and just record on his phone talking about why they doing that, you feel me? As I create millionaires. I show niggas about credit through my music. You get what I'm saying? I show niggas about credit, how to, how when you young, how when you 15, you 16, and you 17, my shit going in your head, it sound like all that bullshit niggas talking about, but it's beating in real shit in your head on how to be a real money nigga. Before cryptocurrency got popping, you feel me? Go get you some so you ain't out the loop, so you ain't left behind, you know what I'm saying? Niggas hit me up talking about they finna go cash out on land. Niggas hit me up talking about they finna start them a, a garden and grow their own food. Or niggas hit me up talking about they finna start them a grow. They just bought some land out of Southern California. You know what I'm saying? We trying to put some greater shit together. You know what I'm saying? Let's get some shit established. Nothing good in life is free. You feel me? Like, niggas gotta pay their dues. But I understand why the next nigga self is too. Because there ain't too many opportunities for niggas out here. You feel me? What nigga you know who don't, who don't rock, play basketball, or got down trap, or scam? who really own making some money. You know what I'm saying? It's few and far between. Now, females, they can get out here and, and go to school and make some big money, you know what I'm saying? But then they kind of want to goddamn turn around and shit on us. You know what I'm saying? Like, I seen old old girl talking about goddamn, I know 10 females who got uh, penthouses and condos for 5K and over in L.A. For OnlyFans, like, nigga can't wake up and shake his ass on OnlyFans and make 10, 15K a month, you feel me? So even saying some old lame ass shit like that, if you trying to got down, put niggas down, you feel me? Like you really trying to got down, come over here and you trying to shit on niggas, but it's by design, you feel me? Like, and they don't know no better, you feel me? Let's get it clear, niggas got down, niggas be dogging these got down, these females out too online, you know what I'm saying? So it, it go both ways. If he is got down a big dog, he feed nigga shit. Yeah, he don't need it. Yeah, he worth over a hundred k, or he worth over two hundred k, or he worth it, you know. But goddamn, young niggas supposed to come when they go strike. You supposed to go bring you a little percentage back to big dog because he been taking care of you and he been putting you on moves and he been he been goddamn doing this for you. You get what I'm saying? Like the mob, every nigga in the mob, no matter what you did, you had to come bring ten percent back to the big dog. Cause guess what? When you fall off, big dog gonna make sure you scrape. But niggas don't understand that. It be like, yeah, niggas be gang and all that shit, but this shit be every man for itself. You know what I'm saying? Or niggas got down break up when the check come in. So if niggas got down know how to keep it solid, but let me tell you something else. Niggas ain't got no daddy, so they don't, ain't no nigga teaching them how to keep it solid. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these females will tell you some shit. They'll tell they nigga to snitch. They're like, go snitch. You, you got a family to worry about. And this, that, that, and the other. You know what I'm saying? They'll put you in a position but goddamn, fuck yourself up. It, it's very rare that you find a solid female who like, they don't go snitch on them folks. You know you're gonna be a goddamn lame ass nigga if you go snitch on them folks. You know them folks looked out for you when you had smoke and folks slid with you. When when the last time you heard a female say that? If you if you catch you a goddamn two to five, you feel me? And goddamn, brother don't got some money, they gonna make sure your kid is straight. You feel me? Cause niggas, niggas got down making sure they partner straight before they kids a lot of times. I be seeing niggas got down get their partner some money before they get they, they baby mama some money. So, but like I said, got down, you can't let these got down females influence you too much. 
when you got down go do some lame ass shit. Trust me. I done seen what niggas, niggas female influence their ass to do some suck ass shit. And I be like, bro, that shit hurt my heart when I see a nigga got down girl influence him to do some lame ass shit. Like, you got a family to think about and this, that, them. Like nigga, this shit pay your family. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, if you ain't if you ain't all the way in, you need to get the fuck out of this shit. Now I know some nigga got down, you born in it. You know what I'm saying? That's just what you born into, that's just your circumstances. Some nigga got down projects worse than other nigga projects. So you just gotta got down, you gotta stay on your shit, man. You gotta be adapting out here. You gotta get money. Money, see, money separates you. Money separates you from the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And it make you got down, it about to get you access to everything. See, money, niggas be, money ain't everything, and blah, blah, blah. Them, them is niggas you kind of don't need to listen to. You can listen to them so the money don't corrupt you. Because, you know, I ain't going to act, you know what I'm saying? So much money be coming in, the money corrupt me. Like, bro, that's a real shit. I'm corrupted. You feel me? Like, nigga, I get too much money not to be corrupted. But I'm not corrupted to the point where I'm fucking niggas up. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I'm good and I'm evil. You know what I'm saying? Because the money did corrupt me in some ways because I found out different things once the money, you feel me, came in. But money bring you power. Money don't, money don't bring everybody power, but for the most part, money bring you real power.